Okay, well, welcome everybody to today's webinar for Accelerate Your Career for the GDB program at uh, Smith School of Business, Queen's University. Uh, for everybody who registered today, this recording will be sent out to you by email. So keep an eye on your email for the next 24 to 48 hours. You'll receive a recording of this link along with some information on how to connect with our advisors and take the next step in your application. So keep your eye out for that. And with that, let's get started with the webinar. Thanks, uh, Alex. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to share a little bit more about the Smith School of Business and the Graduate Diploma in Business. We got an exciting day today. It's a beautiful time, uh, December 6th. We certainly have to acknowledge um, what happened in Montreal a number of years ago uh, and keep thinking about doing better in the world. But today the focus is gonna be on a quick program overview. And then we're really lucky today. We've got Diana Drury with us, who's been with the Smith School for many years. I'm not gonna go on about the number of Hall of Fame she's already been inducted into, cause that would take up the whole 20 minutes. Uh, but suffice it to say, if you know anything about sport, you probably already know Diana. And then we're really lucky as well to have a recent graduate of the program. Keenan Reynolds, and we were just talking. Keenan's a big hockey guy. He's into coaching right now, among many other things. We were talking about his tough loss last night in overtime. So even great coaches don't make it all the way to the finish line every night. We got to keep that in mind. And so we're going to hear from those two folks, uh, and we'll have a Q&A as it goes through today. But as a start, I'll just give you a background on the program. So who's the Smith GDB for? We're coming into our 10th year. This is pretty exciting times for the program. Small size program, usually anywhere from 20 to 40 students each year. We're gonna pass our 320th grad in this upcoming year. So it's pretty exciting in many ways. But the program is designed for students who are graduating this May is the priority. And also for those students who graduated in the last year to two. And what it's all about is helping them take that next step. Most of our grads are domestic and international. There's always a handful as well, which add wonderful diversity to the program. We get excited about the disciplines. Every year we have anywhere from 15 to 30 different disciplines of study. And what's common to all of them is they really haven't studied business. And that adds a wonderful element to the conversation. You can imagine someone who studied philosophy engaging with an engineer on a conversation about a balance sheet. It gets pretty wild, I'm telling you right now. And we have universities across the country and around the world. He has, it's typically a four-year university degree that they've completed. And so focusing on those folks, we've designed a very intensive program. This is four months, it's full-time, and it runs May to August every year. You're going to take 10 business fundamental course, essentially double the amount in a normal university semester. We're going to talk about high performing team experience today. Uh, but every year, when I talk to the students after they've completed the Smith GDB, almost invariably, the number one thing they say that mattered most is sadly not my marketing course, but it's Diana's team program, high performing teams. And then in addition to that, you're going to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching, both personal and career development. Because it's a small class size, you really can't hide in this program. And we wrap around expertise and resources to help you develop as an individual. Practically speaking, it's two a days every day for four months. You got to get your head around that and you got to be ready to engage fully. This is all in, as I shared, you can't really work. Some people occasionally work on weekends, but it's a full-time job Monday to Friday in the Smith GDB. And when you think about what we provide folks, it really breaks down into these areas. Uh, at the core, it's a community of learners who come together for the intensive four months experience. We wrap around that expertise on multiple levels 
from the fundamentals of business to teams to careers to personal development. And you get the dedicated one-on-one -on -one guidance, support, and coaching. Our hope is at the end of this four months, your confidence in business is just soaring. And practically speaking, you're going to learn the soft skills and technical competencies in demand today in the job market. That's number one. You're going to learn how to operate in a high-performing team. And again, we'll talk about that today, number two. We get excited because you then become part of the Smith family and our global network around the world, obviously. And you have that opportunity to leverage that in the program and post-program. And what we really hope for folks beyond the confidence, beyond the network, beyond the teams, is that you just gain increased clarity on the route you want to take moving forward. But this program's also been designed in a way to ladder into our full-time MBA program. Some people even refer to this as a quasi mini MBA. And the reason this works is because if you've proven your way through the Smith GDB, and then you get a couple of years work experience, you're eligible to apply back to our full-time MBA program. And if accepted, you get a full transfer of all the courses and all the tuition. And so what that means for many students is they can double accelerate. They accelerate out of the Smith GDB, and then they move in in future years and take the full-time MBA and accelerate again in their careers. And it's much faster when you do the full-time MBA. Many of our GDB grads complete the full-time MBA program, which is normally a full year. They complete it in six months at a fraction of the cost because the tuition transfers over as well. But let's be clear, this program's not for everybody. It's a very unique program. There's not others like it out there that have our four month intensity, rigor around academics, and then the full service model around team coaching and personal development. But you're required if you're interested in this program to make the full commitment to four all in months between May to August. There's no exceptions here. You're all in for those four months. You got to be willing to take on the challenge of 10 fundamental business level courses. You got to be absolutely open to learning in a diverse community of learners. We have people from all kinds of programs to study, all kinds of universities that approach this in different ways, which adds wonderful value to individual students learning. You got to believe in and appreciate that teams and knowing how to operate in high performing teams and today, being able to work in both live and remote work settings are critical skills. And finally, you got to be open to feedback, a lot of it, direct and very explicit. And sometimes that's hard for folks. But I think the one thing we've learned here at Smith is that well thought out feedback in context delivered by someone who's an expert is really, really helpful to individual students' development. And we've proven that for many, many years. Now, I can confidently say, having been involved in the program since its inception, that this program delivers the returns. You gotta be all in though, because it's not something you take lightly. You gotta pay a material amount for this kind of expertise. But if you're all in, we've seen over and over and over again, how students accelerate out of the GDB and then potentially accelerate again through a full-time MBA. So we're pretty excited about these things. Okay, enough of me talking. I said I was gonna be about 10 minutes and I think I was pretty close, nine and a bit. But now the important people are here to speak and I wanna get Diana and Keenan involved in the conversation. And what we're gonna do here now is just a simple Q and A, uh, and I'll start with questions for Diana, and then I'll pass it over to Keenan as we work through this. All right, so Diana, I'll start with you with the first question. We talk a lot about high performance teams, and at Smith, it's something we're known for. Can you outline why this is such a critical thing in business today and in the years to come? Yeah, thanks, Jim, and welcome, everyone. I'm excited to be here uh, with uh, one of my favorite students, Keenan, and one of my favorite uh, directors and profs is Jim Hamilton. Um, 
You know, when we look at that question, Jim, um, I really believe, um, you know, since I've been here over 20 years, uh, that our secret sauce is all about high performance teams. That's what it is. It's our secret sauce. And people think it's happening elsewhere. It's not. And I know that because of the background I do. I check in every year to make sure we stay cutting edge above everyone else in that our secret sauce delivers what students need today to compete and be, um, uh, you know, relevant in, in the business world, in the world in general, because everyone is now working in teams. And to me, when you have an understanding, uh, not only through your background, you may have competed on teams, you may have been part of a community club um, or a team in some other aspect, it doesn't have to be sport, but you understand how it works. But those that don't and have come out working with groups, perhaps in their undergrad, uh, in their masters, et cetera, groups are very different than teams. And to understand what a true, true team is, you have to be immersed in it and you have to be in it long enough to understand the intricacies. A group comes together for a specific task. You bring in your, um, your strengths and you get it done and you walk away. That's a group. A team comes together and they have a common purpose. They have goals they want to achieve and they figure out how they're going to work together to leverage strengths and to look at the gaps and the opportunities that they can develop while in that team. So if you come away with that sense of what team means, whether it's a high performing, a performing team, you're going to have a sense of how you can make it work out there when you get challenged to that task. And that's what the real world is all about today. Putting people in teams and expecting you to be able to work in there and figure it out. Well, our grads know how to do it. So you're one step ahead. Oh, Diana, wonderful. I mean, that idea that many students in undergrad are involved in groups, but really don't understand uh, how it applies in a team setting. And Smith's methodology has been proven now I mean, Diana, just as a follow-up, how many years have we been doing this? Jim, it would be over 30. Yeah. And every year we focus on incremental and sometimes, you know, much more than incremental improvements. All right, let's go over to Keenan. So Keenan, before you came to the program, you'd played hockey at a competitive level. You'd coached at a competitive level. So arguably you'd been on a lot of potentially very competitive teams. What were your expectations about the team component coming into the Smith GDB? Great question, Jim. Uh, Diana, obviously very excited to be on this panel. It's a really good question. And I think coming from high performance athletics, um, I was a little naive in thinking that I'd be able to kind of waltz into the program and immediately seamlessly transition into being a high performing team member. That wasn't the case. Um, I think, although I do have really strong strengths that I've developed in my time. My weaknesses uh, kind of shown through very early on in the program. And the wonderful thing about this GDB program is, yes, it's a very, very difficult, time intensive, uh, adversity program. However, um, the, the six members of the team that I was fortunate enough to be placed on became my family. And there is almost nothing as good of, as the feeling as persevering through adversity with a group of people that you come to learn uh, about, um, really, really become a family with. And overcoming that adversity together has forged a bond for us seven that we're, we're going to keep forever. <clears throat> and also for the rest of the program, it was really obvious that so many people developed their personality, leadership, character throughout the program because they were just put into situations that took them outside of their comfort zone. And uh, like you said, as a former athlete, current coach, that's the key to personal and professional success is being comfortable with getting outside of your comfort zone, which is what this program is actually designed to do. Yeah, thanks, Keenan. You know, when I, when I think about the team's component, you said, you know, teams are family. And uh, over the decade that we've run this program, I can go back almost to the very first year and each subsequent year thereafter uh, where people talk about the program and it always starts with their team. So uh, really appreciate that kind of insight. And I think that's something that makes you part of the Smith family even more. All right, Diana, maybe we could jump into a little detail here. 
and uh, maybe some details around what is the team curriculum and, and what does it look like for a student over the four months? Yep. Great question, Jim. Um, what I try to do is, is place a uh, dedicated coach, team coach, uh, with each team. So they're serviced by one coach through the four months. That coach is dedicated to you and your team. And what we do is from opening session week, where we start you in the uh, high performance teams course, and we work you through what it takes uh, to learn about each other, how you uh, figure out through the big five, your strengths, your vulnerabilities, share that with the team members so that you have a starting point knowing how to leverage the strengths as soon as you're given your first team-based assignment, but also knowing uh, where your vulnerabilities are and being able to be proactive than reactive when they hit you because they're going to happen. We put you with people that are new to you, different culture, background. Um, they've been raised differently. So value systems, ethnicities, ages, that all comes into play. And you really have to form quite quickly. We go through those stages of performing, norming, storming. All of that happens in that first week. So really, we put you through a bit of a boot camp scenario, and we set you up to also start to develop what we call a team contract. That's the mission that the team wants to accomplish. You want to set some goals for yourself as a team. And also, how are you going to work together? What do those norms or operating principles look like? How will you behave so that you treat this as a professional environment. You have to come together to get the work done. You treat it like the workplace, even though it's academia. Plus, you have all that extracurricular around you to fill in um, the opportunity to become that well-rounded leader. So the coach will be assigned right in that first week. Right out of the gate, they'll have a meeting with you to make sure they're aligned around what I had delivered in the workshop of high-performance teams. And then you've got that coach with you pretty much once a week. Uh, now, we do taper it off a little bit as you get into the latter stages of the program, where it's maybe once every two weeks. But that coach is dedicated to the team to ensure alignment, to ensure that if there's anything going on with team dynamics, uh, anyone not pulling their weight, that the coach is in there. They're part of the team and they're part of your success. And, and I believe that in any team, when you have a coach, it's about that relationship you build, the trust you build in order to go to them and to really identify things early on. You don't want things to fester, whether it's this big or it becomes this big. The importance of being able to put something on the table as adults, deal with it in the moment and move forward so that it doesn't become the elephant in the room that's causing you more unnecessary stress. It's, you know, time wasted that we don't have. So really we're trying to build in efficiencies, effectiveness, and also best practices that we know have worked over the many years we've been doing team-based learning. So that coach is dedicated to you, your team. They're at your service basically throughout each and every day when needed. They're located in Kingston, which means they're available to walk in at any point in time with a bit of notice around your classes and around your team's responsibilities. They're there to work with you and to get you what I call on that trajectory to high performance. So we start off at the lower end, obviously, as everyone's new to each other. It's uh, a little bit of anxiety. We're, we're worried. We're stressed because we don't know what we're getting into. And by the end of the first week, we're on that trajectory towards getting you to that performance and that what I call well-oiled machine of being a performing, if not high performing team. Dedicated team coach to you. And again, they're there for your success and we're here for your success. So you have an amazing support system around you. Within that curriculum, you're gonna get everything from an opportunity to do a peer review, which is like a 360 assessment. You're going to get uh, an opportunity to look at how to communicate, how to give and receive feedback, both positive and constructive, which is the growth learning. You're also gonna have opportunities within the team to do some team building and team building activities outside of the academic environment. And I believe strongly that, you know, we see certain things when you're in a working environment, but when you're outside of the working environment doing something else, that's a team building activity or a chance to bond and get to know people, you really do learn other things about that individual that would never have come up when you're working because we're too busy focusing on the task at hand. That to me is where you build even more of their strength, more strengths and competencies, knowing 
that Keenan can do this and I can leverage that from Keenan. That's beautiful. He's got this. He can help me with that. And I have this and I can help him with that. That's the beauty of what he's talking about with regards to being a family is that we have each other's backs. And when you have that connection and you know someone's got your back, it makes this four months a lot, I think, more enjoyable and a lot less stressful. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Diana. I mean, you got to love that. And when you break it down, as Diana said it there, you're going to have goals. There's a methodology. And the phrase I love, you're going to have a team coach who's part of your success. Uh, another expert there to help you achieve the goals you have. Thanks a lot for that, Diana. All right, Keenan, let's jump in. Uh, you lived this team experience that Diana so nicely communicated there. Maybe can you highlight one or two of the most compelling experiences you had over the summer? For sure. Um... That's a tough act to follow, Diana. I'm all fired up now. I want to retake the DVD. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, I think that orientation week, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but uh, like Diana alluded to, um, vulnerability is essential. I think to building trust, um, commonality, that team, family environment. Uh, the team that I was on right away kind of put aside our differences and allowed each other to be vulnerable, which which was an amazing moment for myself coming out of COVID-19 where I hadn't really been around people my own age for a long time, having lived at home and studied at Carleton University taking political science. So um, it, it was it was a really awesome moment for me in particular because I, I grew up surrounded by 17 to 20 of my best friends at all time with hockey and the pandemic uh, and retirement from hockey that, that subsequently came with that took that away from me at the same time and the GDB kind of filled that hole for me gave me such an amazing summer so many new friends uh, that inspired me challenged me motivated me to be better every single day um, so definitely that orientation week is something to look forward to and then um, like like I kind of previously touched on going through adversity I mean in the moment you're definitely a little stressed uh, burning the candle at both ends because it is an intensive program but those are the moments I'm going to look back on it and and really uh, really appreciate how how much we overcame the adversity that we got through together and uh, not to pat my team on the back too much but we we oftentimes submitted really awesome work that I'm still proud of to this day and it wasn't one person doing it all it was a collaborative effort on every assignment obviously catering to the strengths of your team members. Um, my particular team had two economics majors. I'm a political science major. I wasn't doing a lot of the economics uh, assignments, but I was helping edit. Um, I was providing my insight on more of the literary and academic aspects of economics, where, whereas my economics majors were teaching me the, the material almost as second professors, which is, again, that's that family mentality, no man or woman left behind, which was amazing. And then, <coughs> sorry. I kind of lost my voice yelling from the bench yesterday. Uh, and then uh, the I, another one that, that I feel is really important to mention is just um, the feedback that's really enforced within that high performance team culture. I find not a lot of people have ever dealt with legitimate feedback from peers. It's always been um, a coach or a teacher, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, in, in a role where you're not equal, but delivering feedback and receiving feedback from peers is a skill which um, is, is probably one of the most important and one of the most transferable skills to the professional world that, that I've heard from previous GDB students and the students who um, started with that all-in mentality, got with the career coaching, um, really accelerated their uh, journey towards that professional career out of the GDB and are now making close to six figures in really amazing jobs. Uh, and that kind of goes to what Jim said is this program is not for everyone, but if you're ready to commit four months of your life towards improvement, towards development, towards uh, a mastery of business fundamentals, this is the program for you because the results every single year, year over year, speak for themselves. Yeah, Keenan, thanks for that. And, you know, it's like everything in life. You always learn something. And Keenan just made 
a point there about learning to give and receive feedback from peers. Uh, and that's challenging, as he alluded to. Even I struggle with that in life, and it's a constant battle, but it's the most helpful things to receive. So really appreciate that kind of insight on the program, Keenan. All right, uh, last couple of questions here, and then we can open it up if there's questions from uh, the folks who've attended today's session. But Diana, when you think about teams, it's really four intensive months, but how does this team experience set these students up for success when they get out into that work world? And there's so much going on in the work world. Teams have never been more important, but we've got all forms of teams out there, virtual, remote, and the like. Can you just share a perspective on how they're set up to accelerate because of how they know how to operate in a high-performing team? Yeah, Jim, I think that's an excellent question. Um, what I want people to think about is that when you come in, um, everybody is a peer. There's no rank in the room. So we all start at the same level. And I think that makes a big difference that we're not comparing ourselves to each other. We're instead coming into a team environment where we're going to learn how and what it feels like to be part of a true team, whether it's a high performing or just a performing or there are teams that I will be honest that that have struggled. They are dysfunctional along the way. It doesn't really at the end of the day matter. What matters is the experience. You can't teach what we do from a textbook. You have to live it. And that's the experience you get while at Smith. And when you come out of that, knowing the how and what you learned that worked and how you'll take that forward to be inclusive to if you know this isn't going to work, why would you bring that into a workplace where you're leading a team? You're going to take what you know works, you're going to collaborate with the people on your team and grow as a team, which makes everybody thrive and look better. So I call that transformational leadership, where we transform you in four months. And that is a crazy busy four months. I'm not going to lie. All of our programs are intensive, but this one, you know, if you're just coming out of your undergrad or if you've been working and you come in, it is four true months where it's you know, put your nose to the ground and let's grind people because this is the reality. The nice part is you're surrounded with Jim as the director, program manager. You have all of your coaches. You've got your fitness piece. You've got your career piece. We're all here to see you be successful. So you're not alone here. You've got a team that becomes a family. Hopefully you all have each other's backs. And in that four months, you're not only learning the academic piece, but you're networking. The full-time MBAs are here. You're going to have networking opportunities. You're going to meet them. You're going to see what they're doing. You can see how you can come back and do and complete your full-time MBA. Where is that going to take you in a couple of years down the road? But to me, the world of teams, it's always been there, but it's more now at the forefront where they just expect to launch you and say, figure it out. You have the advantage because now you know Smith's secret sauce, you've got the playbook and you're able to now take it and run with it and be that leader that they're looking for. You're going to have the edge over everyone else coming into the workplace that hasn't had the Smith secret sauce. Oh yeah. The secret sauce and the team uh, or the team's uh, playbook. I mean, you got to love that. So Keenan, you've just finished. You've got the secret sauce. You've got the playbook. How is it helping you accelerate your career? And maybe just give a little background because you're charting a very unique path out of the program. Yeah, I, I think um, that's putting it lightly. I think I've kind of been like that my whole life. Never really um, followed the standard path for a lot of what I've done. So uh, like I said, studied political science became very interested in business, nonprofit management, leading into uh, the summer of 2021. During COVID, I founded a small nonprofit, ran that as the executive director, really enjoyed it, and uh, decided that entrepreneurship was something I wanted to pursue pretty heavily, just with my skill set. I love communicating, networking, meeting new people, uh, leading a team, kind of all the things which come with entrepreneurship. And um, pretty early on in the GDB, uh, Jim, Jim can probably remember this. I came into his office and I said, Jim, I mean, the corporate world seems awesome, but I don't know if it's for me. Um, I, I think I want to do something on my own. 
And that's the beauty of the, the Smith GDB program is they understand that each student comes in with their own respective uh, tastes, uh, different goals, ambitions, dreams, and they cater, uh, whether it's teaching, coaching, uh, mentorship towards each individual student. So um, I told Jim that I wanted to be a hockey coach and he outlined this, this sheet for me and basically drew up the pros and cons. How much time can you dedicate towards this while also per pursuing a career? Really trying to help me narrow in on a job that I could do in my part time to pursue coaching full time. And um, I also completely leverage uh, Jim uses the, the buffet mentality a lot. Well, I got seconds and thirds. I was talking <laughs> about every I was talking to almost every single person I could in that building, probably a little bit too much. If you ask them, I was pretty loud, but um, just trying to really get everything I could out of it. Um, spoke with the career coaches, people within the entrepreneurship center to, to help me launch my, my new venture that I'm currently launching, which is a sports media agency. Uh, hockey specific, which is going to be the first of its kind out of Ottawa, promoting elite Ottawa hockey. Um, and it's just really exciting because I, I know for a fact that, like I said before, coming out of COVID, I was confident in myself, but being able to get into a competitive environment again and to uh, not assert myself, that's the wrong word, but to kind of flex uh, the skill set that I knew I had coming in and also develop and round out a bit of my skill set. Um, while also learning how to interact, uh, not specifically always as a leader on a team, which is what I'd kind of done in the past in that group mentality, which is what Diana referenced. I'm a, I'm a perfectionist who just said, okay, I'll do it all. And you guys, we can get the A plus together. You're not doing that in the GDB. And for me, at least it was, it was more difficult to learn how to become, uh, almost like, a the, the backseat driver on, on assignments in a support role than, than leading it. And. I think that's also so important because in life, you're not always going to be the best person equipped on a team to deal with the situation. And that is what I've learned mostly is, is taking a backseat, being able to encourage and inspire other people to have the confidence uh, to take leadership roles and find success in it is what being a leader truly means. It's not just being in the spotlight and leading from the front. It's, it's truly about offering other people opportunities and inspiring them to take full control of that opportunity and develop their own respective skill sets. So um, again, uh, I, I'm a huge advocate for the GDB program. I think every student, uh, whether it was uh, someone like myself who came in with a very strong idea of who they were already and were looking for more of the career development, uh, all the way to people who were kind of trying to find themselves coming out of university, not really sure what they wanted to do, who I saw over the four month period, just become their own person with their own passion, their own dreams, their own motivations. And now they're, they're doing exactly what they want to do in the professional sector, having leveraged the career coaching, the amazing professors, you yourself as the program director, Diana, uh, with that all in mentality. And, and once again, once these demographics and the statistics come out about the program, I think they'll speak for themselves. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks, Keenan. All right, we're at that final point. And so uh, first off, I really want to thank Diane and Keenan for sharing the time today. There's little doubt in my mind that this information will be helpful to lots of folks. And so to finish it off, Diana, last point about those wonderful students who are thinking about the Smith GDB. What advice do you have for them? And then Keenan, right over to you after Diana. Yeah, I think you have to come in with the mindset that you're going to be committed. Um, it is four months. It is intensive. We are not candy coating that whatsoever. Um, but I will tell you, there'll be weeks that seem like months and there will be four months that fly by and you won't believe that it's over. So you've got to be immersed. You've got to bring what I call your true authentic self to the game. Um, come in ready to go, knowing you're going to be tired, but knowing that um, that energy you're going to bring in the days that it's lower, your team members, uh, your your staff around you, your coaches are going to help pick you up again, right? We all go through that cycle. Um, I think sharing the wealth, as Keenan said, you're going to be busier sometimes than other times. You're going to get opportunities to uh, take that lead role in a team-based assignment. And then there'll be times when you're just part of that assignment where you're stepping back and letting others step up. So there are times of busier times and less busy, but it's always busy. Okay. There's no downtime, 
But in that, you're going to be getting academic, social, you're going to have a chance to work with clubs, coaching, uh, networking, and developing you. And to me, that four months, that investment is going to pay big dividends down the road for you being that transformational leader in whatever workplace you end up. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that's extremely well said, Diana, uh, coming from more of the, the the director route. From a student's perspective, uh, a lot of it, I'm going to echo what you said, be prepared day one. Um, it, it starts off quickly and it doesn't really slow down for the entire four months. But I would also say just, just like re really embrace and appreciate the small moments. Um, if you decide to enroll uh, the four months, like the, the perfect way to put it, some weeks feel like months, but at the end, the four months feels like a week. And uh, once you're done it, you're going to you're going to wish that you were back in your team rooms with your team grinding through these assignments, which in the moment you're uh, you're not as happy to be grinding through. But um, I, I'd also say to really, really try to cater it to yourself as an individual. Decide really what you want to focus on uh, in terms of your your coursework, complete all the coursework, of course. But it really is a buffet and at a buffet, you don't need to eat everything. You can pick and choose what you want specifically to help you get to that next step in your professional career or your personal development. And there's a litany of resources available. So um, another thing would be to listen when Jim speaks because he's he's a great leader. Um, obviously, the the program has grown exponentially since he's taken over in terms of prestige, but also uh, what it's offering. And uh, he's a very funny guy. He likes making jokes, but don't don't take him lightly when he speaks. I promise you guys, like what he says is coming from experience, um, value, uh, the time, effort, intensity, energy he brings to the table. And you're going to have a great summer. Thanks, Keenan, for those kind words. I mean, uh, I was going to mention your leadership on the soccer pitch no. or lack thereof, but I don't think I want to finish on a negative. No, I'm not going to do that for the intramural GDB team. All right, folks, uh, we'll just finish up here. Uh, if you're interested in the program, um, we make it easy for you. There's no application fees. You can apply whenever you're ready. Uh, we look for the right people uh, who see this as the right next step for them. Uh, if you want to talk directly to someone, you can talk to Rachel, Rachel Green. And like Keenan, Rachel's a recent grad, and we hired her right out of the program. Uh, she'll take care of everything, and she'll give you uh, the clear view on what the program's all about, the way both Diana and Keenan did today. And so if it's something of interest, reach out. We love to talk to you. And if you want to do a site visit, we're happy to enable that and show you the insides of Smith and the graduate diploma in business. It's an exciting year. This will be the 10th year, and I'm not much of a party planner, but I'm telling you, I'm stepping out of my shell this year, and we're going to have one heck of a party to celebrate a decade, because there's not a lot of organizations who get out there 10 years and still be moving along very strongly. So, <clears throat> excuse me, excited about that. All right, I think that's it. Final point, Diana and Keenan, thanks for giving us your time today. And let's be clear, folks, uh, people are busy. Keenan's busy driving his business. Diana runs, I don't know, like a bazillion programs. <laughs> Fortunately, she loves the GDB and is always so gracious in giving her time. And Keenan, again, he'll do anything for the program. It's just the kind of person he is. Uh, and so we appreciate that. And lastly, none of this would happen unless Alex made it happen. Alex, can you at least just say hello so folks know who led this show? Yeah, hi. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, everybody, for another great webinar. And just to remind people that if you registered for today's webinar, but even if you weren't able to attend, you will receive an email with a link to the recording. So keep an eye out for that. And also keep an eye on the program website to sign up again for the next webinar. And again, if you can't make it in person, you'll still receive the, the email with the recording link. And so you can watch it on your own time. So thanks, everybody, to registered. And thanks for the team for another great session. All right. Thanks, Alex. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>